guys welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be uh i'll be teaching you guys the basics um yeah let's get started all right guys so the first thing we'll be going over is something simple just dribbling you know so if I were to start practicing, I'd probably firstly do whatever hand you're dominant with. I'll do a pound dribble. Just, you're just going to go like that. Uh, so if you're left-handed, you'll do left-hand pound dribbles. If you're right-handed, like I am, you'll do right-hand pound dribbles. And then after both of those... I'd start practicing a crossover. Now it's just crossing to one hand, cross to the other, like this. Yep, so, also, if you couldn't tell already, this is just for basic basketball players that are just starting off. So if you're looking for some nice drills to practice alone, or or with people, it doesn't really matter. And you can practice all these. Um, yeah. All right, so practice those dribble moves first, then get into some other dribble moves. Uh, yeah, let's move on to the next drill. All right, guys, so our next drill is going to be just shooting the ball. So, if you've got to be able to shoot and dribble to play basketball mainly um so get those down first and then you got it so then just practice some other stuff um so i made a whole video about proper shooting form okay so if you're watching this i'd go check out that video after this one to get into some proper shooting. This is gonna be a quicker version of it. But okay, you what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna, before you get into bad habits, practice this, I'm telling you. So you wanna put one hand, whatever hand you're dominant with, if you're right-handed, right hand right here, then left hand right here. If you're left-handed, put left hand right there, and right hand right here. This hand is the shooting hand, or for me, this hand is the shooting hand, and this is the, this hand is just there to straighten it, um, so, then, this is the tricky part, okay, you're gonna wanna bring the ball up here, then shoot it, like that, so just practice that. Then once you get on the actual court and start shooting, uh, it's going to be a little challenging. But I'm telling you, this takes a lot of practice. So before you get into bad habits, this is one of the first things you're going to want to practice. Bringing it up here before you get into bad habits. Um, I'll demonstrate that. Also, one more thing. You want to make sure to bend your legs. So just, while you're at home, grab a basketball, practice just doing this. Bending your legs, you could shoot it if you want to into the air and catch it again. And yeah, you wanna bend your legs because your arms are only a little bit of power, but then when you bend your legs, that's like almost all of the power you get. So if you don't bend your legs, you're not gonna make it to the basket. So. This is just a jump shot. Okay, this is what you practice. Okay? Just practice that. And then, yeah, it, once you practice that and get done with your shooting form, uh, just, yeah. But if you're in a game and you're not used to it, like a real game, then... Just do whatever you're comfortable with, because I don't want to mess your guys' game up. But what, in, like, practice and stuff, 
shoe up here so you could get out of your bad habits. Um, and even if you're in bad habits, just practice that. All right, next drill. All right, guys, so the next drill you're going to want to practice is passing. You'll normally want a partner for this, but if you don't have one, just pass it against, like, a wall outside or something. Uh, but, yeah. So, you may think passing is easy. Just throw it to the other person. But, actually, there's uh, more to it. There's different kinds of passes. Uh, so, a lot of people on, like, a basketball team will huck it over people's heads to try and get it to them. But that's really risky. Like, if you get it to them, great. But you don't want to do that. You... So, instead of hooking it over, you're going to bounce pass, like, under their arms if they're guarding you, bounce pass it, and then, oh, uh, yeah, so, and also while you're bounce passing it, take a step forward, and then pass it, that'll get, that'll be way better, um, yeah, so, Bounce passes if you're guarded. If you're just like trying to get it to a person really quick, then full on pass. Just no bounce pass, no huck it, hucking it. Be like this, just like your shooting form for both of these. Be like you're in your shooting form hand placement, and then pass it really hard to that person. Even like. They they need to catch it. They they that's their thing. They need to pass it or catch it. But your part is to throw it and if they don't catch it and it like hits them in the face, that's not your fault. That's how you pass. Um yeah. So just pass it with a step forward shooting form hand placement. Uh and just hard if you're trying to get it to that person fast if you're guarded. Bounce pass is what you're going to want to do, all right? Uh, all right, next drill is going to be the last and final drill. All right, guys, next we're going to be practicing rebound, rebounding. So, uh, yeah, we're going to practice rebounding. It may sound simple, but there's some things you could go over to make you way better rebounding, like... What a lot of basketball players do, this is just a fun little habit, you don't have to, but you could just touch the top of doorways and then it could make you jump higher to get, a, if you're in a contested rebound, that could help, just, you could jump higher and grab that rebound before, even if you're, there's a taller guy. He might just be used to like grabbing it because it's tall, but you could just hop and grab it. So, let's say somebody shoots it, all right? They miss. It's coming down. You just jump as high as you can to grab that, especially if it's contested. If it's not contested, then you don't really have to. It's probably safer too, but it's probably just, you don't really have to, but it is safer too. You don't have to if it's not contested. If it's contested, you probably want to do that, otherwise you're going to lose the rebound. And then the other team will get it. Um, yeah. So, and if it, you don't get the rebound, it's fine. Like, let's say someone shoots it, you're down below the basket ready to get the rebound. It's not always going to come right down to you. Sometimes it might like, go, not like that, but it might go way further that way. And that's not your fault. That, and it's not the shooter's fault either, okay? That's just what happened, okay? Um, yeah. That's rebounding. Uh,
there's not really a lot of steps into rebound. If you don't know what rebounding is, by the way, uh, if you're like, if you just don't know, then uh, it's just where someone shoots it, grabs it, it shoots it, then it falls and grabs, and you grab it. If it goes through the basket, then no rebound. Just they got the point, obviously, but. Uh, yeah, if they shoot it, miss it, and then grab it. That's a rebound. Sorry for the late explanation. But, yeah, that's rebounding. There's not a lot of big steps into rebounding. Just jump high, grab the rebound. Next drill. All right, guys, this is our last and final drill. And this is defending. You may have noticed we've only done offensive drills. Except for rebounding could be defensive. Um, but what you're going to want to, how you're, you might want to practice defending is if you're with a partner, just like do one-on-ones. Uh, then you could practice any kind of defense. But if you're alone, then here's what you do. You could do defensive slides. Like this. This is a defensive slide where you just go like that. Good footwork. And that's just defense. Um, then what you're going to want to do with your hands. You could do this. That's what a lot of starters do. But what I do is I do this. There's one hand above so that if they suddenly shoot. I could jump and block it. One hand down low to steal it, smack it, and then grab it. Oh uh, yeah, that is the basics of defense. Um, and if they're gonna pass it, okay. If they're uh, about to, just like if they're gonna bounce pass it, like they're bounce passing it this way, all right. You want to go like this if they start facing that way, ready to pass. If they go the other way, then go like this. Um, if they're going a, like a shooting pass, it's probably hard to tell that, but if they are, then just like kind of whatever, you know? But for the most part, if they're like shoot, if they're passing it, and they start facing this way, go like this. Start facing this way, go like this. Take up all their room. You don't, you don't want them to create space while you're on defense. You're, you don't want them to. The, um, and then if they're about to shoot, okay? You, let's say they shoot. What you're gonna wanna do, you don't just wanna let them shoot it. Obviously, you wanna try and Block their shot. Well, you're gonna want to block their shot. So they shoot, block it. But most people like my age, they won't be able to do this. But there's something called goaltending, where if you shoot it, um, and then it starts coming down, if you hit it, like that'll be a while. So you'd have to jump high for that. But if you shoot it, starts coming down, and then you hit it away, that's goaltending, and then they automatically get the point. Whether you could tell if it was going to airball, it doesn't matter. And then one thing to know on defense, if you're going for the block, you cannot hit them. Otherwise, it's a shooting foul. I mean, sometimes you might want a foul in the end of the game if they're ahead. But otherwise, just in the middle of the game, you don't want to let them because then they get free throws, which if you don't know what that is, it's there's uh, there's some people that line up on the side of the key and one guy that's at the top of the key shooting and then two guys beyond the three point. OK, um, then they get to shoot two shots. Uh, and if it's a three-pointer that you they got fouled on, that's three shots. 
without being guarded or anything. So you don't want to foul them. And that's pretty much defense. So um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Uh, the comments might be disabled at some points because they automatically get disabled. So yeah, it, but if they're not, leave questions in the comments and uh, maybe sometime, a, maybe a different time I'll post a video on the rules in basketball for starters again. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching this video. Please make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,